Welcome to another Tech End You Tips video. I'm going to talk a little bit about DNS. You might not know what it is, but it's really crucial to how our internet works. Um, if you go to a site, say dnsprivacy.org, that actually gets translated by software on your computer, talking to servers, to a series of numbers. Um, depends if it's IPv4 or IPv6. You don't even worry about this. It just happens your internet works. Now, even though we're connected over a secure connection here, we are, right? But when we're requesting, oh, I need to know the address of this site, that's usually done openly over the internet and often directly to your ISP, um, you know, Telecable or Izzy or um, in Mexico, it could be AT&T or other providers in, in, in the US or Bell or, or Rogers or whatever in Canada. And they can keep track of this information and use this and even sell it. So um, setting up DNS differently is a good idea. There's a lot of options. Uh, there's a service from Cloudflare called 1.1.1.1. And the web page is actually 1.1.1.1. Uh, they've got clients for Mac and Windows and Linux. You can take a look at that. Quad 9 is another one. You could take a look at that and how to configure it. It tells you the basics here, but you can get more options there. Next, DNS is another one, and actually this is what I've been looking at. I've been testing this for the last two weeks. I'm using this on my entire network, and uh, I've been playing around with the configurations. I could show more details later um, of my configuration, uh, but it's, it's a really cool setup, and this is what I'm using. I have, uh, I'm running Linux natively on this computer, so I have it set up as a Linux client. And then I was looking at the clients for next DNS, like, you know, Cloudflare's got their clients. The ones on Windows, at least, was a little bit funky. It, it just seemed to not run well. And I heard about Yoga DNS. So those of you that are playing around um, with this and want a nice client that just makes this all work really easy, Yoga DNS for Windows looks really well. They don't have a Mac client. But if we go back to DNS privacy, and you click on for users. Stubby is actually what they recommend for Mac. Um, but there's a whole section here on setting up DNS clients. And, and there again, that's the one they're re recommending for Mac. But there's a whole bunch here. And, and they'll get into, say, uh, desktop clients. Cloudflare provides a, a tool. That's the one I showed you there. There's other ones. So you can take a look and play with what you want. Um, or just go with the basics and change on your router what the uh, address is or use a client. I wanted to show you Stubby, or sorry, Stubby, Yoga DNS on Windows. I've got a vir Windows virtual machine here. So I'm going to set it up. I'm going to install it. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead. Don't like desktop shortcuts. I don't like a mess on my desktop. So I'll install that. This is in Windows 10 in a virtual machine running on my Linux. So I'm going to launch this. Right, good. So I already had this running, but I wanted to show you what happens on launch of the first launch of um, Yoga DNS on Windows. So you can just choose, hey, just use Google or use Quad9 and it'll go ahead and set it up and you're good to go. So if you say, let's just use Quad9, it should uh, search it out. Oh, I found an error. It's probably because I might be blocking it or something crazy. Let's try Google. Yeah, it's fine. It liked Google. It, it, it should work fine for you. I, I do weird things on my network and block things. So it's set up and that's it. Little icon down here telling us that we're running Yoga DNS. We close this. It'll, it'll be running in the background. It's right there. We can take a look at it. Open, close. But now we're secure. Every time we're opening up a web browser or any other application in this Windows environment, it's talking over a encrypted connection to those servers, uh, in this case, Google's uh, DNS servers. But I set it up for my next DNS environment, but I don't want to show you my configuration. And uh, it works really well. So again, you want to think about security. This website, the DNS Privacy Project, is a really good place to go to check out uh, information about why this is important. And uh, give it a try. If you've got any questions, drop them in the uh, links down below. I wanted to mention a shout out to people that have followed me in the last month or so. So Laura, Juanjo, Juan, Administra, Anibal, Walter, uh, Bindiug, Amrit, Genevieve, Jaime, and Kevin would be the ones from July and June. We're only a few, uh, a few subscribers away from uh, that magic 1000 number. So if you want to subscribe, go ahead. Um, 
But more importantly, I think is leave a comment uh, if this was helpful. Leave a comment if you got some suggestions of other videos to make. And uh, have an excellent weekend.